Hello and welcome to Thrive Ultimatum. I'm Christine and in this video I'll be giving you a quick run through of the features in Thrive Ultimatum so that you can get to know the plugin and jump in with confidence. So this is the Thrive Ultimatum dashboard and here's what it will look like when you have a couple of campaigns set up. Let's go ahead and get started with a new campaign. So right away, you see that we have four options. Today, we're going to be setting up a campaign from scratch, but the difference between starting from scratch and the other three options is that these three options have some pre-selected settings, all completely editable, just pre-selected to save you a few steps. So let's start from scratch so that we can walk through all of the steps together. And let's give our campaign a name. So we have a handy little guide here to prompt you for what to do next. Let's go ahead and select a campaign type. Now there are three different types of campaigns you can run. Fixed dates is the simplest and that's what we're going to start with today. You can also use a recurring campaign for things like monthly sales or weekly sales. And evergreen campaigns are triggered by the individual user. So each person who visits a certain page or submits a certain form will have their own individual countdown. So let's say you want to sell an information product and you have a specific launch window. Maybe you have an e-course you want to sell for seven days only, and you know exactly which dates these will be. So for this, you would choose a fixed dates campaign. And you can go ahead and choose a start date and start hour and end date and end hour. When you've chosen your dates, click save and we'll move on to the next step. Next, display settings. So this is where you can choose where you'll be advertising your campaign. Now, one of the easiest things you can do is simply select all blog posts, but you have the option of getting super selective. So you can choose specific blog post categories. You can also choose specific tags. You can also choose individual blog posts. And as you can see, you have several more options and you can even do exclusions. So if you want, you can do something like all blog posts except for a particular blog post. For now, we're just going to choose a specific page, which is a sales page for an e-course. Next, we'll need to create a countdown timer design. So let's click the new design button and we have four different design choices. Let's start with a bottom ribbon and then we'll need to choose a template for the design. As you can see, we have many templates to choose from. I'll choose this one and now you can customize the ribbon. So for a ribbon such as this one, you'll see that there is a button right here and for placing this ribbon on a sales page, then the link assigned to this button would be your checkout page. So let's go ahead and assign that link. Just click on the button, make sure that button is selected in the breadcrumbs and then go to animation and action. Now there's already a link in place, but we can edit that by going to the pencil icon and simply type the name of the checkout page and it should pop up. Then click apply. You can also customize the background image or color. So simply click on an element and then make sure that ultimatum ribbon is highlighted in the breadcrumbs. Then under the background style tab, you can change the background. You can also edit the design of the individual elements in the countdown. So again, making sure that the countdown is selected in the breadcrumbs go to the main options tab and then go to edit design. And then you can change the font. You can also change these decorative lines by going to borders and corners. You can also just spacing by going to layout and position. So this really is completely customizable. Now, one of the special features in Thrive Ultimatum is that you can change the look of the countdown timer to reflect greater urgency. So when the countdown approaches, say 24 hours left, you can make the entire countdown red, or you can even add some text like hurry ends soon. So to do that, we'll go down to the lower right hand corner and click the plus sign, and we'll need to click add new state. And let's just give this state a name. 
And now you can simply customize the design of this state. So I'll go ahead and I'll click on an element. I'll make sure that ultimatum ribbon is selected in the breadcrumbs and I'll go to background style and I'll make this background red. Then don't forget to save your work and then you can head back to Thrive Ultimatum. And now if you like, you can add another design. So let's go to new design and this time let's add short code. And we're going to do this so that we can manually place it on our sales page. So you can give this a name. I'll just keep it at short code and then click continue. And then we can choose a template for this design and customize it. When you're finished making your design customizations, then head back to Thrive Ultimatum. And now you've got everything you need to start your campaign. So under the timeline, we'll need to specify when to show both the short code and the bottom ribbon. So under campaign start, we'll choose the pencil icon to edit that. We do want to show both the bottom ribbon and the short code. And then I'll click save timeline event. And one more thing, if you recall the urgency state that we added to the bottom ribbon, we can go ahead and add a new event to the timeline. And then under trigger, we'll say that this event will start in 24 hours before the countdown reaches zero. And we want the bottom ribbon design state to be 24 hours left. And then we'll click save timeline event. And now all we have to do is start the campaign. So let's scroll up and start that campaign. And then we'll also need to place the short code on the sales page. So here we are on the sales page. Let's add the countdown timer by going to the add element button. Then let's search for ultimatum. And then you can simply drag and drop this to wherever you want it on the page. And then you'll need to select your campaign and the short code. And then you can make some simple spacing adjustments. All right, so that looks pretty good. Let's go ahead and save this. And let's preview our work. So we can see that short code was inserted here and we do have a ribbon at the bottom of the page and it is a sticky ribbon. So if you just want to do a simple campaign, you're pretty much done. But we also have some advanced features that I would really like to show you. So in today's example, we are selling an e-course for seven days only. But what happens if someone tries to buy the course either before our start date or after the countdown ends? Well, we can activate lockdown so that if anyone tries to access the sales page anytime outside of our seven day window, they will be shown a different page. So let's go ahead and activate lockdown. So the pre-access page is the page that people will see if they try to access the promotion page before the campaign starts. The expired page is what people will see if they try to access the promotion page after the campaign ends. Now you can have two different pages if you like, or you can use the same page for both. So let me show you the page I created. You'll notice that I'm using a lead generation element here so that even though the course is closed, people can sign up to be notified when the course will be available again. So I'm going to use that page for both the pre-access page and the expired page. So I'll just search for that page and it should pop up. Now under promotion page, you can select the email service that you use for your email list. And under URL or search term, this is where we're going to select our sales page. So this is the page that you want to lock down. When you're finished, click save. And so that's it. Now our sales page or any other page you want to protect will be locked down if anyone tries to access it outside of our seven day campaign window. Next, let's look at an advanced feature, conversion events. So what you can do with conversion events is stop a campaign after someone purchases what you're promoting and you can also move someone to a different campaign based on a specified event. So let's take a look. So let's go ahead and add a new conversion event. And you have two different triggers. 
either someone submits a lead generation form or they visit a specific page on your website. So let's say you've placed Thrive Ultimatum Countdown Timers in multiple places on your website. You might have a sticky footer, you might also have a widget in the sidebar, and you have a countdown timer shortcode on your sales page. So this is a pretty aggressive marketing strategy. So it would be nice to turn all of those off for your customers once they've made a purchase because it can get kind of annoying. So you can set the trigger to be visits a conversion page because people will see that page right after they purchase the product. And then we'll just type in the title of the confirmation page. And then we'll click continue. And then you'll need to select the action for the trigger. So let's choose action and we'll choose end campaign. So now when someone buys your product, they will no longer see the sticky footer, the sidebar widget, and the countdown on the sales page. But don't forget about the ability to move people from one campaign to another. So let me just add a new conversion event so you can see what that looks like. So under step two, when you're going to set the action to be performed, you have the option to move to another campaign. So this is really quite a powerful feature because you can have multiple conversion goals on a campaign. And depending on the goal that people reach, you can send people to different campaigns. And then again, with those campaigns, you can have different conversion goals and so on. So this one particular option is pretty powerful, but also pretty advanced. Next, let's take a look at another feature evergreen campaigns. So let's go ahead and start a brand new campaign and let's build from scratch. Let's give this a name and let's go to campaign type. And here you'll see that again, we have three options. So an evergreen campaign is triggered by a user action. So instead of a campaign starting and stopping on a specific date, each user gets their own individual campaign based on an action they took to trigger it. So let's go ahead and choose Evergreen Campaign. And you'll see that you have two different choices for the type of Evergreen Countdown. For now, we're going to choose Absolute, so the countdown duration is the same for every user. If you choose Minimum Duration, this option is handy if you need your countdown timer to end at a specific time. However, the countdown duration will be slightly different for each user depending on when they trigger the countdown. You can go ahead and choose a countdown duration. And as far as activating lockdown, I definitely recommend activating lockdown for evergreen campaigns. Um, if you like, you can also repeat this campaign. It's a bit more of an aggressive strategy and you may be able to pick up a few more sales with this. And you can choose when should the countdown start, which we also refer to as the trigger. So when lockdown is not activated, you have three trigger options. You can trigger your campaign when a lead generation form is submitted, when someone first visits your website, or when someone visits a specific page. Now, if you enable lockdown, you'll have three slightly different options. So then you can activate your countdown when a lead generation form is submitted, when someone visits a specified promotion page, or when a third party event occurs. Now these are also known as incoming webhooks. And with this option, you can trigger a campaign when someone does something like click a button in an email. For something like selling an online course using an evergreen campaign, I would definitely recommend enabling lockdown, and then you can choose from one of these triggers depending on your specific marketing funnel. For now, I'll choose lead generation as the trigger, and I'll choose a form. Now, for evergreen campaigns, everything we've already covered as far as design, customization, and display settings is the same and really think about where you want your campaigns to be displayed on your website. You can place countdown timers on your blog posts, on your homepage, and on other pages involved in your marketing funnel. So as people browse your website, they'll see that constant reminder that the clock is ticking, which is a huge conversion booster. Now there's one important thing I'd like to mention under lockdown campaigns. So let's go there now. 
So again, you can specify a pre-access page and an expired page. And here under promotion pages, it's very important that you select your email service and also specify your promotion page. So let's do that right now. And this is important because it will generate a special link that you can use in your automated emails. This special link contains information that Thrive Ultimatum needs to display the correct countdown for each user. So be sure to use this link in your marketing. So that was just a quick look at Thrive Ultimatum. As you can see, there's really quite a lot you can do with it. So I hope you take advantage of all of these features to grow your online business.